Hello everyone, Silent here, and welcome back to another episode of Truly Bedrock Season 5. We have three major things that we're going to be doing in today's episode. We're going to be building ourselves our own base, because I'm tired of being the only person around spawn that doesn't have a nice starter base. There is so much stuff built and being built in this area, and I just have nothing to show for my own builds, so that's one of our main projects today. Our other main project is rebuilding the Double Blaze Farm that we built a couple of episodes ago, because it is like completely broken and we need a good xp farm on the server we might also find our way into making another farm in the overworld today for experience because it's just an xp farm and type of episode either way i'm gonna grab some materials and then let's fix that blaze farm so we're trying to use the lava streams previously to move all the blazes and that is just incredibly incredibly slow so it does technically work but it's not quite up to my standards so what we're gonna do is we're going to tear down all of this stuff in between these two little glass cylinders that we built. We're going to have a minecart conveyor belt going from here to there. And then we're going to have a flying machine going from like here to there. So the kill chamber is going to be right there in the corner. It's a little hard to explain, but I did build it up in creative. So let's go check that out. Go AFK for a long time at your blaze farm. Because then you'll get something like this. I do want to turn on the flying machine for this actually. Let's let's see how, let's see how bad this goes. That's so many places. <laughs> That's great, look at that. Finally happened, after all this time, we finally found the lava. It finally happened. It finally, finally happened. <laughs> Blazes finally got their revenge on me. After all this time, uh, we took what? Like two hearts of damage from that? Yeah, this blaze right here. Sneaky, sneaky guy. <laughs> Ooh, I bet you wanted to see me die, didn't you? Uh-uh, I'm too professional for that. I've been in this game too long. I got my noob juice on the hot bar, ready to go. Okay, so a couple hours later, we finally have the final version of the Blaze Farm finally done, I believe. So we're using the minecart conveyor belt system to move the ghasts or the blazes from this side. This is the north direction, so we can move them all into the Trident Killer right here. And because the minecarts only move mobs north and to the east... Uh, we can't use the minecarts on this side, so we just set up ourselves a little bit of flying machine. Now, I have not tested out the flying machine yet, so here goes absolutely nothing. Look at that, it works first try, because I'm a great redstone guy. Uh, so that's actually going to push all the striders, or at least the big one, into something. I, uh, I broke the flying machine. Dang it, I was way too confident. Take two, blaze farm, it works, right? Okay, I don't know why it didn't work that time. Take four on the flying machine. Press the button. It just works. It's just built correctly. It's not built different because we can't have that. What did I do wrong this time? Take, I don't know, man, seven. Why doesn't it work this time? Okay, you know what? This is just full of shenanigans. There's just shenanigans everywhere. It's Take 3,000. It's... Okay, that's not even fair. Why didn't it work that time, huh? Okay, test fire like 7,000 bajillion. Uh, the thing finally sort of works. And I think it should auto relaunch. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god, I built it first try, guys. Look at this. All the other ones, those were just practice runs. Just to make sure that you knew how it works by showing you how it didn't work. Uh, so now we have a fully functional blaze farm. This one right here is going to kick all the blazes into the kill chamber. That over there is going to kick all the blazes into the kill chamber. I found myself in a completely dark area, and this is due to RTX just turning off all light sources. This is when RTX is off, and then I turn it on, and then it's like slightly brighter, I guess. Why does it break everything when it's turned off? Jeez. Come on, Minecraft. I mean... The game already crashed four times just trying to load up, so it's just not having a good day today. This one is not from a blaze. I just jumped in on my own. It's, I felt like taking a little dip, okay? What can I say? I just like swimming in lava sometimes. It's very refreshing. Cleans out the pores. Sometimes you got that little funk you can't get rid of. Just burn it off. So after many trials and tribulations and pains and sufferings and just falling in lava and jumping in lava on purpose, we have finally finished up the Blaze Farm and it's now actually working. So the flying machine is good to go. We got a nice little off switch for it over there. And then the Trident Killer is also working too. So everything's good. We can stand here for as long as we like and get all the experience. So we got 31 levels, we can repair the tools and armor, we can 
can do all the things. It took probably the most effort that it could have possibly taken. If it suddenly breaks out of nowhere, I think we'll just go build a different farm. <laughs> Look how many blaze rods it's produced. Amazing. Such a good farm. So I already emptied it a couple times though. So it does work. Great. Let's get out of here. This area is a, just a bunch of pain. I think Foxy No Tail broke how you ride things underwater. <laughs> He's always breaking things on the server, but this is definitely illegal. I feel like this is wrong. I don't know why it's wrong. It's just, it's just not right. Okay. Very good shop design. It makes you work for your elytra. Oh man. I made one of these back on... Wait. Oh, no. Okay, it's not parkour. You just gotta sit on them. Okay, I thought I was really bad at jumping for a minute. Yeah, I kind of like this. This is kind of fun. <laughs> so, yeah, this is from the Ricky Roy, I believe. One diamond block. Oh, my God. It's expensive. Very expensive. We got all the junk gear you could ever need. All the junk. Look at all these pickaxes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. People spending money. We got to get in on this. Two diamonds each. Oh, no. Wait, wait what? Two diamonds for four? Bruh. Okay, there's also this thing out here, which is very suspicious. The storage monster. Shulker shells, one diamond to stack. Two for ten. This is a lot cheaper than that shop, actually. See, people just do this on the server. We have, like... You know, nice, properly built shops like this one right here with pretty reasonable prices. <laughs> the wind shop as well. And then someone else comes along, just puts a cheaper shop right out in front of it. Shenanigans on the server. We can't be having this. Yeah, see, I mean, look, we put all this effort into an amazing shop. And then someone came up here and just undercut us. Shenanigans. How much money do we have, by the way? Give me all of the money. People still buying... Well, I guess they're still buying from us, technically. <laughs> One measly diamond. How much money are they making? That's not fair. They're making five times as much money as we are. Shenanigans, man. As soon as the town hall is finished being built, the first meeting we're going to have is about the absolute traitorness that is the tiny shops in front of the proper shops. Somebody needs to come up here and do some busting on, like, the, the bad shops. We need to get some laws. They need to get, like, permits for their shops. They can't be doing this. And no, I'm not just upset that they're outselling me. They're out selling Ricky as well. Look how nice that is. I mean, come on. Put in some effort to your shops, people. She's. I'm a bit tired of the smelly blaze farm, so we're gonna go work on a better farm real quick. Okay, so we are here for one very specific project, and that is to kill this dude right here. There's, there's things. I don't want to talk about it. There's four of them. You thought having three cave spider spawners was bad enough. No, 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 no. We got one right here. We got one right here. We got one right here. Look how close these two are. It's like four blocks apart, three blocks. And then this one is like literally directly above it. So, I mean, we could break all four of these from like right here. It's very, very tempting. Just very tempting. Anyway, uh, we're gonna do Zloy a favor and turn this into a farm for him. And we're not gonna tell him. Also, kind of low-key hoping that there might be a fifth one in the area. Because, like, how crazy would that be? Typically, a double or a triple or a quad spawner farm would take a little bit of brain power to figure out. But these three spawners are all on the same exact Y level. And this one's just, like, right vertical of it. So we can have just, like, one big room. And then probably just push all the spooters to, like, one corner. And that, that should be all we need to do. Okay, this is not planned for, but we just straight up found Deep Slate Coal all right here. I'm taking all of it. I got Silk Touch. It's all right here. This is a magical place to be. So we've mined out the entire room now for all of our spawners, uh, all the spooter spawners. And now we need to figure out, like, the, the pain of the water streams. And the, kind of the goal is to have, like, one platform right there, push them into this area-ish, and then have everything else kind of flow to this corner. So it is now finally complete, or so it would seem. We got all of our spawners, the whole room's dug out, all the water streams are hopefully working. I have not double-checked that, actually. And then they all just push down to this little trident killer right here. Right, so now we just gotta do the fun part of actually going around this whole place and deactivating these mob spawners. Boop. Where is the torch on this one? Oh, is there no torch on the bottom one? How is that not been spawning mobs? Please don't climb up the walls. I forgot that they could do that. Okay, that's a lot of spiders, like, immediately. They do appear to be enjoying themselves quite nicely. So we have a very nice, uh, finely detailed room down here. They're totally gonna hit me through those doors, aren't they? Surely they can hit me through there. This feels like the least safe thing. Do we pick up the experience? We do. Okay, it's actually working pretty well. <laughs> I would not recommend opening these doors under any circumstances. Uh, ah, they did. They did hit. They did hit through the doors. This was secretly a ploy just to have uh, a good XP farm on the server because secretly the blaze farm is broken. Is it broken? 
Maybe. I think this is closer than going to the nether. Speaking of the nether, we should make another portal over here. I don't know if this is actually keeping up with all the spiders. I mean, there's like a lot of spiders that are falling down in there. Also, I would like to mention that I built this first try. No issues, no shenanigans, no hiccups. I didn't even purposely, I mean, accidentally break one of the spawners. Look at that. We can even open up these doors. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Now, <laughs> now, <laughs> denied. Nothing bad's gonna happen. They got out. And that's not good. Oh, they oh they got out. Okay. I do not trust that at all. We're gonna just lock them down there. Just close the trap doors. We'll pretend that did not happen. <laughs> so after surprisingly little pain and suffering, we do have the farm completely done now. It's actually working surprisingly well. And we have a lot of dead spooters. I would call this an absolute success. It's just like basically a non-stop stream of spooters. I don't know why they were leaking out, but I, I'm i gonna pretend like that's not a problem. Look how stupid he is. Ha 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 ha, you can't get me. So Tiz Tom has been working on the nether hub, and this is what the tunnels are gonna look like. It's just all of the amethysts and all the dead corals. Look how good this looks in ray tracing. Like, whoa, it's amazing. I love the blue fire, actually. So the time has come for us to build ourselves our own starter base, and the idea is, is that we're gonna build an airship because I want to live up in the air above everyone else. And it just so happens that there's already two over here and they both happen to be absolutely hideous. That one is made out of chiseled red sandstone. So basically, no matter what I do, it's not gonna be the worst looking airship on the server. And it's actually gonna be going like right above that thing. So we're gonna have like three relatively hideous builds in a row and I actually quite like that idea and hopefully someone will come along and build a fourth one and we can just have a whole array of these it's supposed to be bad I'm giving it a compliment it's achieving its goals okay I have severe questions about what exactly that is but I'm not asking them okay so Zloy has actually updated the entrance slash exit to the triple cave spider spawner and we need to get down here so that we can actually grab all of our a string for wool oh this place looks so good now i haven't seen it since he updated it oh this looks great i walked right past the storage system didn't even see it that is a lot of string i like this farm that's a lot of eyes i don't like this farm that's a lot of slime i love this farm basically i'm here for all of the string i don't know what's up with it but it's all mine all of it hopefully this is enough wool brace your eyes for the worst thing that you've possibly ever seen but i i did build this in literally 15 minutes it's just to get something down and then we're gonna improve upon it and make it look okay 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 so we got a little bit of a boat down here it's just kind of like it's fine i mean it's not like the worst thing ever but of course it's like absolutely not detailed it's kind of just like a skateboard sled uh these little stems i feel like are too tall i want to like move the boat closer to the blimp and then the blimp above it is obviously very placeholder just to get like the shape of it down this is all freehand i i'm gonna look at like one of those little uh oval creator thingies to give it like an actual round shape i mean if we're in like 2012 this would be fine but I, I, it's about a decade out of style i think but yeah for no details at all it's it's okay it's a placeholder so we're gonna mess with this version over here because i made a copy of it structure blocks are amazing best block in the game we're gonna like round this out make it a round blimp and then give it kind of a dome on the front so we've been messing around with this for maybe an hour or so now and of course we got the entire upper blimp bag thingy done it obviously looks like a billion times better than that and just trying to figure out how to connect that now dangly fence things they work out great we just need to like refine these they look a little bit odd well we'll come back to it it'll look fine eventually uh we're gonna do a bubble column here in the middle to take us up and down that way we can have nice things but it's not gonna be a standard bubble column it's gonna be a waterless bubble column and then now we need to like start wrapping the actual bag and some spruce things because obviously this looks very drab right now so we're gonna put like some spruce lines uh all along this thing and give it a little bit more detail something to look at something to be a proud of maybe not proud of but something to look at anyway there you go just adding a little spruce like edge around the whole blimp automatically made it like at least five percent better uh, so let's add like a couple bands going around the sides of it because this is a big bag of air. We got to contain it. Okay, I know this isn't how blimps work, but like, <laughs> what if we, <laughs> what if we put a window right here? 
<laughs> and then we could have like a little a little patio and uh little little chairs. <laughs> it's not at all how blimps work, but shut up, it's Minecraft. I can do what I want. <laughs> we'll we'll save in that idea for later. <laughs> so after a couple hours of designing this on a live stream with the community's input, we have come up with this amazing design right here. Okay, that's the old one, but here's the new one. It's actually looking pretty good. And when you compare the two, there's uh there's quite the contrast. Noob versus pro. So yeah, although I'm it's all built by one person. So I don't know how that works I'm a new pro Anyway, I think it's actually turned out pretty well There's probably some things you could tweak or change here or there little additions that could be made some things that could be fixed But I don't know how to do any of that and honestly it looks pretty all right So you might be thinking what about the interior and listen 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 I don't know how to do interiors, okay? So the inside of this is just a big old balloon and that's that's about it. So we're gonna put our actual storage in here. Maybe have like a little mini smelter, a little farm. Don't tell anyone, those are illegal. And then we're probably gonna have like a couple other things. As you can see, this is actually a pretty big area. And of course it obviously looks about a thousand times better with ray tracing on as well, because that's just what ray tracing does. And if we get like a nice sunrise on this thing, yeah, look at that. Not too shabby at all. So if you ever need some inspiration for a build, just go over to creative, start from scratch, or you know, start with uh, something like really bad like this, and then work your way up and add details as you go along. And also go to Google Images, search for Minecraft, and then whatever you wanna build. There's gonna be like a million different inspiration images that you can look at and see how other people have done things. Then kind of, you know, change it up and modify it to your own liking. When it comes to builds, I have a really hard time starting from absolute scratch and knowing how to like build up to something like this. So just seeing like what has been done before is really, really useful. So I can be like, oh, okay, that's how you do like the pointiness on the end or something. Cause otherwise like I, I got no idea what I'm doing right so just having some sort of inspiration image or a thousand from google is actually really useful just to like get a general idea of what you're walking into it doesn't even need to be minecraft builds either like if you're building a castle there's untold infinite numbers of castles from irl just go look up a picture or some concept art there's infinity castles from like anime series and shows and movies so like there's there's so much inspiration on google that's that's how all the professionals do it probably i don't know i'm not a professional <laughs> so now we need to build this in survival and that's actually really easy thanks to a thing called a structure which is basically like lightmatica or schematica from a java edition basically we're going to turn this into a structure file using a structure block save that export a file to the computer and then we're going to load up a little program and that's this itty bitty little program right here so now what we need to do is look up our structure file that we just exported to the computer and then we're also going to click on advanced because we want to change the transparency. So typically, uh, we want this to be kind of transparent. So I'm going to move this up to be about 60% transparency. That way we can actually make it easy to see what we're trying to do. Uh, you can also make yourself a materials list as well. So now we're going to go ahead and make that pack. And now we actually have ourselves an airship MC pack. So all we need to do is click on that. That's going to import it into Minecraft. So now that we have that texture pack turned on, this is the fun part. This is the really, really good part. So we just need to decide where we want that build. We place down an armor stand and then bam, look at that. We have the entire thing just here ready for us to place down the block. So we just go around, we place down like, you know, the lanterns and then the fences and all the slabs and stairs and wool blocks. And then we just keep on filling in all of these blocks until we built the entire thing. It's basically just like a little schematic that we can follow in survival and it's just a resource pack. It's not even cheating or anything like that. It's great. Absolutely fantastic. You can find a link to Mad Hatter's video on Structura down in the description of the video if you want to use it yourself. Since we're going to be building up in the air, it's probably a good idea that we finally get our Elytra in use and stop using this silly chest plate. No more of that garbage. Elytra all the way. Now just to smack some spooters. I have been gathering all the materials that we need for this build for quite a little bit now. So we have uh, an amount of wood and then we have all of the wool ever. We have a little bit of extra bits and then all of this air that we're going to need to fill up with the blimp with. We probably need to get some more air, honestly. We just need a few more resources like dark oak. 
probably a little bit more spruce and of course more oak. We also need copper and coal. Literally just three minutes in this cave that somebody else lit up. I got an entire inventory of copper. Look at all this is way too much copper. I did not sign up for all of this. I like I did not want that much. Okay, that's that's too much. <laughs> we also need a little snow. So now we need to decide where the airship is actually going to be going. I have an armor stand over there, but we are too far away for it to render in. And if we just kind of glide on over here, you should see it pop in. There we go. So this might be a good spot for it. I don't know. I kind of want to move it above this platform directly. Okay, this right here might be a good place for it. I want it to be a little bit taller than these things right here. And I want it to be kind of close to the ground at the same time. Like, I don't want to have this be miles up in the air because I don't have a gunpowder farm and I'm going to run out of rockets. But yeah, that right there actually looks pretty solid. We might be able to get away with that. One really annoying thing is that armor stands unrender when you get so far away from them. So I actually need to make a second texture pack because the nose of this is just far enough away that it unrenders. So that's kind of annoying. So it's official. This is going to be the location of the airship. As you can see, I've done like the central section of the lower boat and it's kind of cool to see the rest of the airship like render in around it bam there it is so this is gonna take a surprisingly long time to build as does like literally everything in this game so instead of like boring you to death with all of that shenanigans where i'm just going around placing blocks so i'm gonna go bore everyone to death on a live stream over on our twitch channel go follow us on twitch if you want to see our live streams or subscribe to silent 2 for the replays but you you are getting a nice little time lapse, so let's just jump into it, shall we? So there was kind of a major flaw with the time lapse in that it was not recording for like the vast majority of the build. It would have been amazing had it recorded. I had so many cool shots lined up, but uh, yeah, insert cool time lapse here. Viewer. We don't need to. time lapse. Not as long as we have our imagination. So yeah, it's a little bit silly that the camera account didn't record the time lapse. Like you literally have one job. You stand around and you record things. Jeez, mister, get out of here. Goodbye. Yeah, take that, mister. Well, I don't know where he went, but I, I can't stay mad at him for long. I mean, that beautiful face just like demands forgiveness. Seriously, though, that was going to be a really good time lapse. So hopefully you guys imagined a really good one or something, because like... Jeez, that's really disappointing. Like, I, I had a whole thing planned. That was gonna be the whole highlight of the episode. But, like, I mean, we we have a base now, so that's kind of cool. Uh, Zloy is literally living in my shadow now. <laughs> yeah, it's looking pretty dark down here, isn't it? <laughs> this is great. I think he would probably like that, actually. He likes living in the shadows. And the final thing to do for the build is to put the Pigo flavored flag on top of it. And this is, of course, our skin colors. We got the white, the green, the pink. It's great. It's exactly my colors. So fun fact, this is my last rocket and I cannot make it up to the boat with this, I don't think. Wow, okay. Well, that just ruined my last rocket. I guess I'm back to boating around like a day one player. <laughs> I can't believe I can't even launch with it. Ah, oh, jeez. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's episode, consider dropping a like on the videos. I hope us set the video on the channel a ton. If you're new here, then subscribe for more Truly Bedrock tutorials and Bug Rock. I'll see you guys down in the comments and in the next one. Thank you ever so much for watching. And then there was silence.